In this tutorial we want to link header and footer to any cell value. This example is a weather forecast report, which need to add some information at header and footer of the report. The forecast location is a New York City which placed at the left header. And forecast duration is a 15 days forecasting data which placed at the center header. Then we can show the forecasting staff which needs to sign a report, at left, center, and right footer. Then we need to combine the name of staff and their job title in one cell. This function allows you to combine text or values in one cell. Once the cell value change, the combined cell will change accordingly. Then specify a cell to work as a button in order to run a VBA code, no matter how big or small it's. Here we just merge some cells but even a single cell is just fine. Then copy a VBA code into a notepad file. A VBA code can be found in the description of this video. First find the cell code of forecast location for left header. In this example the cell code is C2. Then link a forecast duration to a center header, the cell code is C3. Then link a combined cell of data reader to left footer, the cell code is D5, then connect the name of supervisor and manager to center and right header, then cell code is D6, and D7 respectively. Then connect a specified cell which used as a button, this cell is responsible to run a VBA code, in this example the code of button cell is H2. Copy the entire code in the notepad file, then go to developer tab, developer tab can be added from customize the ribbon, then check it at be appear under then main menu, go to developer tab, and click on visual basic, then double click on sheet 1 and paste the code here. Then click on save, the VBA window asks to save as a file in micro enabled format. Then save as a file, and change the format to Excel macro enabled workbook, and click on save. Close the current file, and open the new file which saved in macro enabled format, open the file, and check the visual basic code on new file if it's well placed, then test the outcome of the tutorial. If we print the sheet, the header and footer is not displayed because the VBA code is not running yet, to run a VBA code, click on that cell which specified as a button, then reprint the sheet, the header and footer is appear, and it's exactly similar to the cell values which linked on a VBA code. If the cell's data are changed to different information or names, click on the button liked cell to update the header and footer in accordance with the cell data. The header and footer receive the cell data automatically, this feature helps the user in terms of save an amount of time. 